GMA investigates taking a close look today at the germs on your cell phone. You may be shocked at just how dirty that device can get. Some of those germs could also make you sick. ABC's Mars Gavacampo has the story. Cell phones, we all have them and we all use them for everything from talking to texting to tweeting. But those smartphones aren't just picking up a signal. In many cases, they're picking up germs and bacteria from your surroundings and your hands. And an extension of your hand really is the telephone. You can call them an 11th digit, an 11th finger. Dr. Tierno says direct contact like kissing and sneezing and indirect contact with objects like cell phones accounts for 80% of infections. And research has found some phones are even dirtier than a toilet seat. Those germs become even more dangerous when the phones are placed up to your face, near your eyes, nose, and mouth. So just how bad is it? GMA investigates asked University of Arizona environmental science oh, researcher Sherry Carlino oh, yeah. to find out. Yeah, I've actually seen one man spit on his phone oh, and then God. wipe it with a Kleenex. At popular Gotham West Market in New York City, Carlino tested 15 devices using a tool that instantly measures the amount of organic material on a surface. It includes maybe food stuff, um, skin, you know, any kind of skin flakes, bacteria, mold, fungus, anything like that. It's going to show up in these numbers. She says anything under 200 yes, is good yes, news. Right. 187, not bad, no. 112. Nice. My mom will be happy. Anything over 300 isn't, meaning the device is excessively dirty and potentially carrying dangerous bacteria. Ooh. 463. Yes, it's a little on the higher side. Yes, yeah, very. I need to clean it. It's, it's really bad. Okay, oh, 621. Wow. So that's pretty high. I'm not a germaphobe. I'm a big believer of the more exposure, the more resistance. So I can live with that. So you're pretty germ resistant. Yeah. <laughs> so what should you do? Experts say first off, clean your phone regularly. Wipe the surface of that phone. It will cut down on the numbers of germs on, on the device. They also suggest not allowing other people to touch or use your phone too often. And if you really have to, just keep your distance from the dirt. And you can hear perfectly well. In fact, it's probably better. Germs giving whole new meaning to a long distance call. Now, for specific cleaning instructions, you should check with your phone's manufacturer. Most say don't use harsh chemicals. Just wipe the phone periodically with a soft cloth or dampen with a little bit of soap and water. And a word of caution for you parents, those little hands are often the dirtiest of all. So I have two phones. One is just for work. One is personal, and I also let my daughter play with it. This one, my mom will be proud, was one of the cleanest of the day. Oh, wow. <laughs> the personal phone was one of the dirtiest. Really? So yeah, much, so I'm cleaning yeah. up my act. I've learned to wipe it down more often because those little hands carry germs. Yeah, and you said you saw some Yeah, um, it was an impulse buy at a convenience store. They had these wipes specifically to clean phones, and I mm -hmm. bought them, and I use it all the time it's because I am idea. a massive okay. hypochondriac. Well, because <laughs> you wash your hands so often, you should clean your phone, too. Exactly. Sounds good. All these healthy people. I Thank know. I love it.